how this connects to the House of the Dragon. And for more videos from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. To understand this theory, we must start at the beginning. Thousands of years ago, the first War of Men occurred in Westeros, a war they won but ended up causing the first long night. Anger has been passed down from generation to generation, but it is part of a sword given to those first warriors by the Children of the Forest to defeat the White Walkers. It has been mentioned several times that the Dagger of Aegon is the one that connects most of the series in the Game of Thrones universe. If this is so, we could see it in the series of Aegon the Conqueror, about the destruction of Valyria, and even in a prequel during the Long Night. The dagger may be a sword passed down from generation to generation. A weapon created by the Children of the Forest. Then, as the White Walkers lost a battle, they began to acquire enough power to attack again in the future. We saw how the others created other White Walkers, and how after capturing Daenerys' dragon they decided to attack the Wall. We see here that the Night King is a military strategist because he waits for the right moment to attack the Ice Wall. We cannot underestimate the Night King and think of him as a mindless zombie. It is no coincidence that the Night King attacked the North, just after Winterfell was almost in ruins because of the recent wars, while the kingdom was more divided than ever. This is where Bran comes into this theory. In the past, the Three-Eyed Raven could have been that thing that kept the Night King at bay. So then, how does this theory connect to the House of the Dragon? According to Viserys, Aegon the Conqueror had a vision that led him to desire the unification of the Seven Kingdoms. He saw the destruction of mankind coming because of something approaching from the North. If this theory is true, that thing that came from the North is Bran Stark, who was born in the North, acquires the powers of the Three-Eyed Raven, and then his mind is hijacked by the Night King. This would make Bran not only the most powerful entity in the Game of Thrones universe, but also the greatest threat in its history, as he is an entity with supernatural powers such as remote vision, controlling animals with his mind, resurrecting other entities, and even the ability to travel through time. Actually, if the Night King somehow managed to pass his own consciousness to Bran, there is no way out, and the world of Game of Thrones will not have a happy ending. Of course, this is an unlikely theory in the context of this universe. However, it could be a good starting point for the Jon Snow series. Let's imagine for a moment that Bran starts having dreams about the Night King. Because of that vision, he had the consciousness of that entity starts to manifest in him, and he starts to become evil. What if John would then have to come from the North to save mankind? There are a lot of possibilities with that magical aspect of Game of Thrones, and if we eventually see the sequel to Jon Snow, we could learn even more about what happened with Bran, the Three-Eyed Raven, and the White Walkers. But tell me what are your thoughts on all of this? Will Bran be the Night King, or at least become the Night King? And if you liked this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven